It is officially summer on Friday, which means it's time to pay closer attention to fire weather conditions, especially now as climate change makes conditions more favorable for wildfires at any time of the year. Our meteorologist Rob Maeda joins San Jose State's Fire Weather Lab for their latest site survey looking at fire risk in the Santa Cruz Mountains. When it comes to getting the most accurate measure of potential fire weather conditions, sometimes you have to drive to the source. In this case, it's near Mount Eminem in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and that's where San Jose State's Fire Weather Lab is taking fuel moisture content samples. You can think of it as potential fire danger in a can. So here at this site, we're sampling chamise and manzanita plants, and those are very common plants across California, so they provide a very good estimate of overall fire danger across especially the northern part of the state. Gathering these samples is one part of the task. The other awaits back at the lab. So we take samples, we put them in a can and seal that off so the water stays inside the plant and doesn't evaporate out. We weigh that wet and then we dry it out and then we weigh it again dry and then we take the wet mass divided by the dry mass or the wet weight divided by the dry weight and that gives us what the percent moisture content is and that number goes into other calculations to tell us how much heat can be released when plants ignite um, and what the rate of spread might be if a fire does catch. Now in terms of how active the summer will be when it comes to wildfires really depends on one thing and that's the weather. These are very thin fuels so they react very quickly to environmental changes so even though we've been fortunate to have cooler more moist conditions so far you know if we have a good week or two stretch of uh, really dry, hot conditions, then these fuels can dry out very quickly and, and uh, increase fire danger very rapidly. All right, meteorologist Vianna Urana is here now with a look at what Rob and the team found. Mm -hmm. And as we settle into that warmer, drier pattern that he just mentioned, the results from the fire weather lab test showed that the fuel moisture levels are mainly near seasonable averages, but have begun to drop off more quickly in the last four weeks. So let's take a closer look at this map and exactly what it means. Now, as you heard, the fire lab said that any prolonged stretch of dry, windy, and hot weather can accelerate that shift into more dangerous conditions. But looking at this map, it shows us the old growth. Now, for context, the colors that you see here, the blue line represents a historical average, the red line represents a historical low, and the orange line marks the 2025 year. And this is where we were at now. Now, values are more near average, but as we trend drier, it dries things out faster, and that's what we're going to see. So comparing that now to the new growth that we've seen since the old growth, this is the map that you're now seeing on your screen. Look at the drop-off in that orange line in 2025. So we were at about 80, now we're dropping down to 100, so we're getting closer to that historical low, and that's going to put us at slightly below average. So as we dry out faster, the current pattern and the hot, dry inland areas, followed by increasing winds, really, over the next two days, it's what's going to keep us on high alert for the elevated fire danger. I mean, you know, even with the moisture levels, right, you really need significant amounts of rain, of course, the cooler air around the coast, mm -hmm. and any form of fog typically helps us as far as moisture content, but even our trees rely heavily on rain and wind patterns. So as we look into tomorrow and Friday, please be careful. You know, Climate Central released a study that showed 87% of fires are started by humans, mm -hmm. only 13% are started by lightning, and we're not expecting lightning in the next couple of days. So, okay. uh, you know, we're going to go into a cooler weather pattern, but it's still very dry and things are going to get windy. Okay, we'll keep that in mind for the next couple of days. Thank you so much, VNA.